One of the most memorable jobs of my career was to actually stunt double Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in a television commercial set to air during the London 2012 Olympic Games. In May 2012, I received an email from a production company looking for a stuntman to double the Queen of England in a fake Olympic Games where she would compete against some of Britain's finest hopefuls that were actually going to compete at the Olympic Games later that summer. I'd been recommended for the role as I'd stunt doubled a number of women on television projects under some difficult conditions. And this role for the commercial not only required an athlete proficient in hurdles, high jump, long jump and sprinting, but also to be able to compete with the best athletes in the country wearing a full regal gown and crown. I was living in Los Angeles at the time, so I put together an audition piece at an athletics college stadium in Pasadena to prove that I was the right man for the job. One week later, I flew to London for one of the biggest transformations of my career. I think it was a great double in the end. First up for the shoot was a 100 meter sprint with Hurricane Harry Leslie Aikins Ariti. And it was so difficult to do the sprint in a full royal gown, but I managed to hold my own. Then it was head to head with 400 meter hurdler Perry Shakes Drayton. I think the camera got more than it bargained for as I leaped over the hurdles and hitched up my skirt. As if the day hadn't been exhausting enough, I then had to compete in the long jump with British record holder Chris Tomlinson. Again, running in the long gown and executing the correct technique in the jump was a feat in itself. But once again, the Queen reigned supreme and ended up winning the fake Olympics that day. It is a job I will never forget. And at least I can honestly say I know what it's like to be Hollywood royalty and queen for a day.